Hey guys, Thomas from Team Sakurazo here, coming at you guys with another Yu-Gi-Oh! video for you guys today. Uh, talking about Walmart, something I don't really talk about too much, but you guys will see why once we get into it. But very quickly, I just want to thank you guys so much for smashing the like button on my last 5 cards time of your trade binder. It's got like 85 likes or something, and that really does mean a lot, because YouTube, if you guys don't know, has been like, you know, messing with the likes and all that. Uh, and I don't really know why, uh, so to see a lot of people like that video, it really does mean a lot, especially because if you guys have read my community post, uh, some stuff is going on, I'll explain it in the next video, not, not this video, and I'll have like a timestamp so you could skip it. The last thing I'm going to mention is in my last market watch, which you guys seem to like Jason mostly, uh, my webcam actually messed up, uh, I'm not too sure why, but I am looking into getting a new webcam, hopefully it's, it was just a one-time issue. If not, I'll probably just record without my webcam until I get a new one in, which shouldn't be too long. But we're just going to jump right into this. So, Walmart Attention Trading Cards Vendor. I mean, uh, right off the bat, like, it's not only worrying some, but I just hate reading it. But the trading card categories have been removed from the sales floor, and sales of these items have been suspended due to inappropriate customer behavior and increased demand. So, you guys are probably wondering what they mean by uh, inappropriate customer behavior. So, they mean two things, alright? Now, the main thing they mean is scalpers. Now, if you guys don't know what scalpers are, uh, it's basically people who, they'll go to a couple of these, like, chain stores like Walmart, Target, right? Any big, uh, you know, uh, retail store that, like, sells a bunch of things, including trading cards, right? Uh, they'll go to it, and they will buy all of the product, essentially, or they'll buy even half of it, right? Because usually another sculptor will come and finish the job, or just people in general. The reason people are doing this is because not only are we getting less, uh, product, and before anyone says this, there used to be so much more that you could buy at Walmart when it comes to trading cards, uh, pre-COVID, right? Uh, there used to be, like, at least, you know, 200, 300 packs, so they know that people love buying cards like this, right? And, um, not anymore. Now, it's way less, so scalpers know they can actually clear it out and then resell said product for a lot more, right? So, every time you go to your Walmart and you're wondering, or Target, right, and you're wondering, why don't they have anything? Uh, this is why, right? I'm, I'm really sick and tired of just seeing only the Ice Barrier Structure Deck, and maybe if I'm lucky, right, I have to be a little bit lucky for this, I find the Charmer Structure Deck. That's really bad. Uh, so, that's what they mean by inappropriate behavior, along with, and this has been a thing for a while, uh, you know, s s cards get stolen. Like, I I've seen people, you know, try to steal before. I saw, like, this big incident at Walmart, like, one time, but this was, you know, seven years ago, um, when I was in high school, I know people who, to play the game, they try to just steal from big stores, and let me tell you, they all got caught eventually, so, it's, uh, you know, it is what it is, you know, I don't really condone that kind of behavior, but, that's not really part of this video, but, that's what they mean by inappropriate customer behavior, for those who don't know, please do not stock these items until further direction from management has been given, questions and comments can be directed to the management team, Basically, because they're sick and tired of this and complaining, this is what they're going to do. Now, I don't really like this because some Walmarts and Targets, and this has been a thing that's been floating for a while, uh, although I didn't find it newsworthy until I saw this. And if you guys are wondering what Walmart is doing this, uh, from what I've heard, a couple. I've heard some people actually saw this in stores, uh, and, you know, they've heard of other people complain about it. So, I, I don't know if it's like, you know nationwide or if it's only in like a couple states but it's happening quite a bit uh and what i really think about this is i think that's actually going to hurt the game a lot more because a lot of people number one they're not going to be able to buy from these stores so they have to go to an actual card shop which is su supporting our local card shops which is great right that's the one good thing about this right uh however they our card st shops are still running out of product as well even though they're ordering quite a bit um, issue is, though, is that what they should have done is they should have done what other Walmarts did and say, hey, you know, we're going to limit you to three items, right? What this means is, like, uh, for example, let's pretend Blazing Vortex came out and they had this rule. You could only buy up to three packs of Blazing Vortex, right? Uh, or something like, well, with, uh, Ghost of the Past, you could buy, like, 
either, you know, that or, like, two big items. Like, you know, two display boxes from Ghost of the Past, right? Which isn't a good rule because, I'll be honest, sometimes I like to splurge a little. Like, I, you know, there are times where I'll go, like, grocery shopping and I'm like, you know, I feel like getting myself some cards. Just, you know, see what I can pull, have a little bit of fun. Uh, and I'll buy, like, seven, eight, nine, ten packs, depending on how I feel. Uh, just because, you know... I feel like opening something up, not not like I want to scalp or anything like that. And this used to never be a problem uh, when we had a lot of product, right? Because I'd be taking, like, a very small percentage, and that is just for my own personal use. There's no, like, malicious to, you know, just basically bear everyone from a fair chance. Now, if I buy, like, let's say 10 packs, right? That's a decent percentage of the Walmart packs, right? Uh, cause they only get maybe like 60, 70, right? If one person buys 10, that's quite a bit. And it's not even that, like that person has malicious intent. They just want to open up some packs, but it is what it is. And I kind of hate that. So I want to make a little video about this. And what I really want to know is what you guys think of this in the comment section below. Personally, I, I, I can't blame them for doing this. Uh, some people definitely do ruin the game for everybody. Uh, especially because when you're scalping stuff and, you know, people might not like this. If you're at scalping stuff like Blazing Vortex, like, I don't feel bad for you at all. You know, like, Blazing Vortex, you really don't have anything else to buy out. You know, you could buy out condoms and, like, lure them all over your house to remind your mother this mistake she made. Like, something, man. Like, at least, like, if this was at least, and I know this doesn't make the situation much better, but, like, Toon Chaos, right? At least I would understand somewhat. But, you know, that's how life is. But I want to know what you guys think of this in the comment section below. If you guys can leave a like button, uh, or smash that like button, leave a like button, what? Uh, and subscribe, that would be awesome. Uh, if you guys are buying cards off TCG Player, please use my affiliate link down in the description below. It helps out the channel to no additional cost to you. Uh, and consider being a YouTube channel member. And I will see you guys in the comment section in the next video. Peace.